Hi John, this is Shannon with Classy and Sassy Digital Marketing. Thank you for taking the time to review this quick little video. I know you said you're currently using Dex for a lot of things, but I just wanted to kind of give you some pointers and you're more than welcome to share this with them and ask them if they are doing these kinds of things for you. So the point of this video is I'm just going to go over just a few things, content, backlinks, and citations, and compare it to your competitors. So one thing about Google is they like to see anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 words depending on competition and number of keywords on your home page. A keyword is anything someone might type into Google looking for a particular service or product. Google likes information, so in that content you can strategically place keywords to tell Google exactly what terms you want your website to be put in front of when people are searching for it. So for example, excuse me, I'm about to sneeze. Um, for example, uh, windshield repair Roseburg, Oregon. You want Google to tell that to its users so they can find you. So if we look at your website, it is a good looking website. Um, it can use some more content. Like I said, you want anywhere from 1500 to 2000 words and pictures can be considered content as well, as long as they're labeled and applied correctly. Um, here is one, another good looking website. Doesn't have a whole lot of content, but they are ranking. Same with this one. This is just a Google website. Um, no content, but they're ranking. So it'd be pretty easy to beat these out just with content alone. Um, the second thing is backlinks. So a backlink is anywhere you find one website linking to another via clickable text. The idea is that these links act like endorsement for your website from others, which Google uses to build trust in your business by seeing others vouching for you. It's almost like a popularity contest where the person with the most wins. However, they aren't all created equal. So definitely you want relevant and or local websites will work the best. So let's take a look at amount of backlinks. So we've got nine referring domains and 81 backlinks on your website. This one here has 117 and 510 backlinks. Again, this one, six and two. So this one doesn't have very high, but they are ranking, so which is great. So let's kind of take a look at um, Google. So this is where you would search Google, what you're looking for, any ads are up here. This is the top three, which we call the map pack. The map pack is where you want to aim to be. So this is where citations come in play. A citation is anywhere your business name, number, and address are shown exactly as per your Google business profile. They are in places and directories like Yelp, Dex, Expertise, uh, Bus Better Business Bureau, that sort of thing. There's thousands of these out there. <clears throat> it's very tedious and time consuming, but these are what help you rank in what we call this map pack. The idea is that these begin to add up creating your online presence, allowing you to be seen more often by both people and Google. Once Google sees you more than these competitors, the more likely it is to rank you up up. So once your content, backlinks, and citations are all coming together and you're beginning to outgrow your competitors, here's kind of what you might be looking at. If I look here, they're getting 633 visits a month to their website. So you would be taking a percentage of that basically. Here, they're not getting any, but yet they're still ranking. So another thing I wanted to point out, and this is just windshield repair. We do auto glass Roseburg. Um, let me go back here. You can see you're in the top three here. So this is good but we want to rank you for the other keywords as well. And one thing with that I noticed on um, your Google business profile is you definitely want to put an intro or about section on there of about 150 to 200 words. And in those, you want to put keywords. And I can go in here and see, okay, they have 998 organic keywords. I can look in here and see exactly what they're ranking for. And it's mostly, let's see, windshield repair, Roseburg, Oregon. You'll want that in your website. That's getting 50 searches a month just for having that little 
saying or those words in that order on your website. It looks like they have other ones around, um, but that's just an example. Let me see here. This one's got seven. So again, windshield repair, Roseburg, Oregon, they're ranking for this one. And that's 50. Auto glass repair, Roseburg, Oregon is getting 60 searches a month. So you definitely want to put some of these in yours. Um, looks like Roseburg Glass is getting 300 searches a month. So you want to include these phrases and words on your website. I hope this video helps. And like I said, um, it's totally free. I just, you know, I don't want you wasting money somewhere that they're not helping you. So definitely if you point this out to them, maybe they'll be able to do more for you and you can get more bang for your buck. Again, John, this is Shannon with Classy and Sassy Digital Marketing. Thank you for taking the time to review this video. Just shoot me an email back. Let me know what you thought of it. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.